Hello, I'm Teddy Chavko from Canvas GFX and in this video I want to introduce one of the new features that are coming to Canvas and Vision called PMI Data. The files of existing 3D CAD models tend to save viewing angles, modes, dimensions, and sometimes even annotations. That is basically what PMI Data is, extra information within 3D CAD models. And Vision will now be able to extract that information quickly to assist you in describing your products in more detail. However, PMI data doesn't automatically appear. You have to make sure it exists within your 3D models using CAD software first. Then, you can transfer the files here and use Envision to modify the way that the data looks, just like I have here. To get a better understanding of how it all works, let's recreate this page together. Let's first go onto a new page and draw a rectangle object like this. Let's format the rectangle with no fill here. And let's also add a heading on the top. I will make the text a bit larger and also change its color to green like this. Let's add a few annotations as well, like some notes at the bottom left, a description for the page, and my file name. I will prefer to change the color of my description and file name to green and also rotate the file name and place it next to the rectangle. That looks good so far. Let's now import the 3D model we saw earlier. I will go to the Home tab and select the 3D model ribbon. Once I have found the 3D model I'm looking for through my files, I will check this box to show the import options. Here I'm going to import the PMI like this and change their color to red. Press OK. At first glance, the PMI data doesn't seem to appear, and that is okay. Sometimes, 3D models tend to turn the PMI's visibility off in order to reduce overloading issues. However, in order to use the PMI and see the information, we'll have to go into 3D edit mode, and under the assembly tree, we can see CAD views and PMI. This is the PMI data update for Envision 2. CAD views allow you to access saved orientations of the model. You have to double click on these red camera icons and the view will automatically be changed. As you can see here, some views even contain dimensions that you can use for more instruction manuals. However, in order to see all the PMI dimensions, go back to the assembly tree and scroll down until you see this PMI tab. Here you can select the dimension you're looking for or turn everything on at once, like this. I will turn some of these dimensions I do not need off, and I will also render this model with a flat technical mode, so that I can turn its color to the yellow we had earlier in the video. I will resize the model and exit the 3D edit mode to see this final product. And there it is! Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you find it useful. If you have any more questions or want to learn more about how to use Canvas and Vision, please visit our website at canvasgfx.com.